Hello and welcome back to my channel everybody. My garden lovers are going to love this video because there are some free grow boxes so make sure you pay attention. I am very proud and delighted to team up with Energy It and GIY Grow It Yourself for their Get Ireland growing campaign. And there are some Energy It grow boxes to be had. There is 1,000 grow boxes that are going to be given away in Ireland. In this video, I am gonna go through the grow box. I'm gonna show you what is inside, talk you through some of the seeds that's inside, and we are going to plant up the grow boxes. I'm gonna get into the video now and I'm gonna show you what's inside the boxes, but to get your energy or grow box, all you have to do is go to getirelandgrowing.ie. You fill out a registration form and you're entered into a draw to get one of the 1,000 boxes. I will put more details in the description box, but you can head to the website and register and there'll be more details on their website as well. So here's what's inside the box. I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on one of these grow boxes. They are a real treat, especially for any beginner gardeners. These grow boxes are perfect for any size garden. So whether you just have a balcony or maybe you don't even have a garden at all and you're just using your windowsill, any size garden can get involved. Growing your own vegetables is a great way to be more sustainable, but not only is growing vegetables good for your actual health, I find that doing things in the garden is also good for your mental health. So here is what is inside the box. There are five packets of seeds, carrot, basil, oriental greens, beetroot, and we have some peas. You get two fibre seed trays also in your box. You get a nine litre compost block. So you just add water to this and you'll have enough compost to pot up all of your bits. You get one hessian bag full of bee bombs, Irish wildflower bee bombs and some information for how to plant them. You even get lollipop sticks and a pencil so you can label all of your seedlings. And your kit also comes with rice husk pots, two litre and one litre size. The first thing I did was make up my compost. So I added my brick of compacted compost, I think it's called, to some water. So I added roughly three litres to this and you'll start to see it goes very mucky and you leave it overnight and then it will be nice and fluffy. You can break it up with your hands as well and it will turn into compost. First up on the potting table is my oriental greens and the best thing about this pack is all of the instructions are on the back of the seed packet. It tells you whether you need to use a tray or if you need to use a pot and there is a one liter rice husk pot and a two liter pot and it even tells you which one to use. So for the oriental greens, I am sprinkling these onto the tray and I'm lightly covering them with some of the soil because that's what it's said to do on the back of the instructions. I'm just writing down the name on the lollipop stick, but I'm also writing the date on the back, so the date that I planted them. I like to use a spray water bottle to mist the seeds just as they're starting to get going because sometimes if you pour too much water, it can kind of spill out. So give it a little misting and then pop it in a sunny place. I had a little garden helper, but as usual, she was sleeping on the job. I think she has an eye on that cardboard box. I'm so excited to grow carrots. So these ones go into, I think this is the two liter rice husk pot, but just follow the instructions on the back of the packet. These had to be pushed down two centimeters. So I lightly push them down into the soil and then I cover them with some fresh soil on top. And don't worry, I find growing things, they can be a bit forgiving. And so don't worry, there's no perfectionism when it comes to garden. Just try your best and see what grows. It's taken me a while to get the confidence to grow from seeds. I would be someone who would kind of use cuttings and bulbs and I would put off seeds because I used to think that they were quite delicate, but they're actually more forgiving than you think. So don't be afraid to try growing from seed. 
I just went ahead and potted up the rest of my pots following the instructions on the back and making sure to label. I am guilty of not labeling my plants and I have one or two in the garden that are nameless and I have to just wait and see what they turn into. I love bee bombs and this year I've actually got three different locations for bee bombs and they're all in containers. You could do an area in your garden if you wanted to. Today I'm gonna just use a pot. There was an old spring flower in this so I've just taken away any debris, put in some fresh soil and I'm gonna pop in some of these bee bombs. These ones are slightly different to the ones that I used earlier in the year. It's like these ones are made from clay. So I'm just gonna pop them on top. I slightly push them in, but I'm not covering them. It actually says to just sprinkle them on the ground, water them and then just leave them to it. So I'm excited to see how this pot is gonna come along. I love the idea of the pots because I can move it around the garden. Um, I have a larger bee bomb pot a huge old bucket that I filled with bee bombs and as you can see it's coming along huge so I'm expecting this to flower maybe in June or July possibly July and I'm excited to see what comes from this and if the bees like it. Here's a peep at some of my peas and I think that is a courgette in that pot. Again, please label your plants and don't be like me. So I have been getting a head start with growing some things and these are just some herbs that I'm trying to plant from seed. Um, you might remember that cabinet from my garden DIY video a few weeks ago. I'll pop a card in here if you wanna watch it. And when you are done <laughs> with your box, pass it on to the cat, let her have her pleasure you know cats love boxes. Well, I think you will agree that the grow box is, has everything inside of it that you need to get yourself started. Now, as you can see, some of my peas, I have been growing um, some veg already that I started back kind of in March, and I started them on the windowsill. So I have had a head start on some items, but I am going to be doing progress checks on my growing over on my Instagram and I would love you to join me too. So if you are going to be growing your veg and if you sign up for one of the grow boxes and you get them, then do grow with me and use the hashtag over on Instagram. I'll put all of the details to like the hashtags and who to tag. I'll pop it here in the bar, but I'll leave it in the description as well. So grow with me. Let's see how big we could get our veggies. Um, I'm just excited because a lot of the veggies that are in the grow back, grow box, grow kind of quickly. So we're going to see a result quite quickly. So I'm excited, especially with the carrots. I think I'm most excited about carrots because like to me they seem quite, I've never grown carrots. Um, actually the only thing I've grown is peas. Actually no, I grew a tomato plant last year and I didn't pick them in time and the hedgehog had a munch on my tomatoes. So that was my lesson. I think I'm excited about the carrots most and the basil because I I may have killed a basil plant. Um, it was one from the shop and I tried to keep it alive. I did take a cutting from it and it's on the windowsill um, but my basil suffered at the mercy of me. I think I gave him too much love. Well no, I left him in a cold spot and then I moved him too late and I gave him too much water so I'll try not to do that again. With the chat, go get your grow box, sign up, register, enter into the draw to get a grow box. I wish you the best of luck. I hope you get your hands on one. And then you can head over to Instagram and I will be doing progress check-ins on my veggies and my bee bombs all throughout summer. And a massive thank you to Energy and DIY Grow It Yourself for teaming up with me on this video to spread the message to get Ireland growing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.